Imagine a weapon so powerful it can smash a target buried deep under a mountain. A weapon so smart it can find its own way, and so long-reaching it can be launched from another country entirely. This isn't science fiction. This is real. This is the story of Israel's ROX missile one of the most feared and effective weapons in the modern world. And today, we're going to understand exactly how it works and why it changes everything. Welcome to Wartech Zone. To really get why this missile is such a big deal, we first have to understand the problem it was built to solve. For decades, countries have been building stronger and stronger defenses. Think of giant radar systems that can see for hundreds of miles, and surface-to-air missiles that can knock a jet out of the sky from a huge distance. For a pilot, flying into that kind of danger is a suicide mission. So how do you destroy a target that is protected by these advanced shields? You can't just send a bomber in, it would be shot down long before it reached its goal. This was the exact challenge facing Israel. They are surrounded by potential threats, and many of those threats have invested in advanced air defense systems from Russia, like the S-300 and S-400. These systems create a no-fly zone that is incredibly dangerous to enter. On top of that, enemies began hiding their most valuable assets, command centers, weapons factories, missile launchers, deep underground inside reinforced concrete bunkers that could withstand a direct hit from a regular bomb. A normal bomb dropped from a plane might scratch the surface, but it wouldn't get through meters of rock and concrete. So the engineers at Israel Aerospace Industries were given a seemingly impossible task. They needed to create a weapon that could be launched from very, very far away, keeping the pilot and plane safe outside the enemy's defensive range, be incredibly accurate, able to hit a specific building or even a specific part of a building, be powerful enough to dig through layers of earth and concrete and destroy what's inside. The answer to this puzzle was the ROX missile. It's what military experts call a standoff weapon. That means the person firing it can stand off at a distance, far from the danger. It's the ultimate solution for hitting a heavily guarded target without risking a multi-million dollar aircraft and, more importantly, the pilot's life. Now, let's break down how this missile actually works. It's a journey of pure engineering brilliance. First, let's talk about its body and its engine. The ROX missile isn't small, but it's compact enough to be carried under the wing of fighter jets like the F-16 or the F-15. It has a strong, sturdy airframe built to handle the intense stress of high-speed flight. When the pilot presses the launch button, a powerful solid-fuel rocket motor ignites. This is like a massive firework, but with immense control. It gives the missile a tremendous burst of speed, shooting it towards the target area at supersonic speeds. This initial kick is crucial because it gets the missile up and away from the launch aircraft quickly and starts it on its long journey. But here is where the real magic begins. The body and the engine are just the delivery truck. The real brain of the operation is the guidance system. This is what makes the ROX missiles so special and so scary. Most people have heard of GPS-guided bonds. They use satellite signals to find their way to a set of map coordinates. This is accurate, but it has a weakness. A smart enemy can jam or spoof the GPS signal, making the bomb get lost and miss its target. The ROX missile uses GPS, but it doesn't rely on it completely. It has a backup brain, and this is its game-changing feature, an electro-optical seeker. In simple terms, this is a high-tech camera in the nose of the missile. Before the mission, intelligence agents will take a detailed picture of the target, maybe from a satellite or a drone. This picture is loaded into the missile's computer memory. 
As the missile gets close to the target area, it turns on its camera. It starts looking at the ground, and its computer compares the live video feed it's seeing with the picture it has stored in its memory. It's like the missile is playing a real-life game of I Spy. It's scanning the landscape, looking for a match. Is that the building? No, is that the building? There it is! Once it visually locks on to the correct target, it guides itself directly towards it. This makes it virtually immune to GPS jamming. You can't trick it into hitting the wrong coordinates, because it isn't just following numbers, it's using its own eyes to find the right target. This technology is so advanced that the missile can even identify specific features of a building. It's not just looking for a square, it's looking for the specific square it was assigned to destroy. It can also track and hit targets that are moving, like a mobile missile launcher, which was previously one of the hardest things to destroy. So now the missile has found its target. It's screaming down from the sky at an incredible speed. The next question is, what happens when it arrives? This is where the power comes in. The warhead, the explosive part of the missile, is modular. This is a fancy way of saying the military can choose which type of warhead to use based on the target. For a soft target, like a warehouse or a radar station, they might use a blast fragmentation warhead. This creates a massive explosion and sends a shrapnel flying in all directions, destroying everything in a large area. But the ROX missile is famous for its ability to destroy hardened targets. For a bunker buried deep underground, they would use a penetrating warhead, often called a bunker buster. This type of warhead is designed like a spear. It's made of incredibly strong metal and is shaped to pierce through layers of concrete and earth. When it hits the roof of the bunker, it doesn't explode immediately. Instead, it uses its kinetic energy, the force from its speed and weight, to drill its way through. It might punch through several floors before a delayed fuse sets off the main explosion inside the bunker. The result is total destruction. The bunker isn't just damaged on the roof, it is obliterated from the inside out. The overpressure from the explosion alone is enough to kill everyone inside. This is the terrifying power of the ROX missile. It turns what was thought to be a safe, impenetrable fortress into a death trap. Now you might be wondering, with all these advanced defenses, how does the missile even survive the journey to the target? Won't it be shot down? This is a key part of its design. The ROX missile is built for survivability. Unlike some slow-flying cruise missiles that fly low to the ground to avoid radar, the ROX often takes a different approach. It can fly high and fast, using its incredible speed as its primary defense. Think of it like this. Trying to hit a slow-flying drone is easier than trying to hit a bullet fired from a rifle. The ROX missile is that bullet. It moves so fast that by the time an enemy radar system detects it, calculates its path, and fires an interceptor missile, it's often too late. The ROX is already there. It also flies an unpredictable path, maneuvering in its final dive to make it even harder to hit. For the enemy air defense crew, it's a nightmare scenario. A small, incredibly fast, and smart object falling out of the sky, and they have only seconds to react. For the pilot who launched it, the experience is completely different. The process is what's called fire and forget. The pilot gets the order, lines up the shot, and launches the missile. The moment the missile leaves the aircraft, the pilot is free to turn around and fly back to base. Their job is done. The missile handles everything else on its own. This is a huge psychological and tactical advantage. The pilot doesn't have to fly into a storm of enemy fire, nervously guiding a bomb onto a target. They can complete their mission with minimal risk, which means they can fly more missions and be more effective. So, how does this weapon compare to others in the world? The United States has the JASM, a stealthy cruise missile. Europe has the Storm Shadow, Scalp. These are all excellent weapons. But the ROX missile carves out its own unique spot. 
its combination of a rocket motor for high speed and an optical seeker for precision is rare. Many long-range missiles are subsonic, they fly slower than the speed of sound. The ROX is supersonic, making it much harder to stop. Its primary focus on destroying the toughest, most buried targets also sets it apart. It's not a general-purpose weapon, it's a specialist designed to solve the hardest problems on the battlefield. The existence of the ROX missile has a massive impact on the balance of power, especially in the Middle East. It gives Israel a capability that very few nations possess, the ability to reliably destroy an enemy's most valuable assets on the first day of a conflict, without having to send a single soldier into harm's way. Think about these strategic implications. An enemy leader can no an enemy leader can no longer feel safe in their deep underground command bunker. Their hidden missile silos are no longer hidden. Their key communication towers are vulnerable. This knowledge acts as a powerful deterrent. It makes an adversary think twice before starting a conflict because they know their most prized and protected possessions are suddenly on the menu. This weapon doesn't just win battles. It can prevent wars from even starting by making the cost of aggression too high. So what comes next? The technology isn't standing still. The future of the ROX missile and weapons like it is even more advanced. The next generation will likely include artificial intelligence. Imagine a missile that can not only match a preloaded image, but can actually understand what it's seeing. It can identify a specific type of vehicle in a convoy, or distinguish between a decoy and the real target with even greater accuracy. Future versions might also be networked. This means that after the missile is launched, a drone flying nearby, or a satellite in space could send it a live update. If the target moves at the last second, the missile could receive new coordinates in mid-flight and adjust its course. It would be part of a seamless, connected web of technology, all working together to ensure the target is destroyed. As enemy air defenses get better, the race between the shield and the spear will continue. The ROX missile represents the current peak of the spear, a terrifyingly effective, smart, and powerful tool of modern warfare. It proves that in today's world, sometimes the most powerful weapon is the one that can strike from the other side of the horizon with the mind of a sniper and the force of an earthquake. If you found this deep dive into one of the world's most advanced missiles fascinating, please do us a huge favor. Hit the like button, it really helps the channel. And make sure you're subscribed to War Tech Zone for more real-world breakdowns of the tech that shapes our world. Let us know in the comments what powerful weapon or military vehicle should we explore next.